This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and this is fall in the Pacific Northwest. The best time to dig and transplant a lot of these really hardy perennials like this volcano phlox. Now, phlox, spelled P-H-L-O-X, is an old-fashioned perennial, but this variety, the volcano variety, is mildew resistant. It's a great variety to grow here uh, in the Northwest or any place in the U.S., as a matter of fact. The time to divide it is a couple of tricks. Number one, before I start dividing, you can see how these leaves have turned yellow. That's because it's just the month of November. The plants are done growing for the summer. I'm just going to clip them back. doesn't matter where I cut. Clip this clump back so that it makes it easier to move and divide up the clump. Now, you only need to divide most perennials maybe every three to five years. These flocks, they bloom a beautiful uh, hot pink flower. They're mildew resistant, they're fragrant. They've been in the ground about seven years, so dividing them is long overdue. And you see, all I do is take a section, maybe a eight inch long and four inch wide section, and move the entire section out of the ground. That's the tip that makes dividing perennials easier. Take the whole thing out, Plop it down, don't need to be gentle with them, and then, using the shade, spade, just chop it in half. Now, what this does, it means that these new roots are going to form, the plant's going to be more vigorous than ever before, I'm going to get great blooms, if I remember to improve the soil. Here I've got some compost, I'll add this to my plant in the soil. Doesn't matter, the compost is a little bit clumpy still. So I'm going to dig that in. Because it's fall, this compost will continue to decompose. In the spring, we're going to have tons of new growth. Now, notice the important thing. I'm planting this phlox plant at the same level it was growing before. I'm not going to mound it with soil. I'm not going to plant it too deep or let it sit on top. The same level, just kind of bring together the compost and soil. Don't worry about these stems. This is just kind of to remind me of where it's planted. And in the spring, new growth will come up. I'll have fantastic new flowers late in the summer. Divide your flocks now. It's an easy answer for great gardens. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti.